guys, happy, what day is it today? I believe today to be Sunday. I got a haircut. Now, let me tell you, it looks really terrific when I didn't just roll out of bed and start doing errands because here's my story. Sorry, I had to put on some lipstick. Here's some honest talk. Here's some honest talk that I need to get out and maybe I'll feel better. I have put on some weight, which I know you guys know because you can see me. You've seen me before, you've seen me when I gain, you've seen me when I lose, back and forth. You've been here for what, three years, right? I don't have to tell you I've, I've gained weight, you can see it. Um, but I have gained weight to the point when I can stay in my clothes, I'm okay. Now, if the scale says I'm up, but I can still put my clothes on, mentally I'm okay. Well, I'm getting ready to go on this fantastic trip and uh, I can't get my shorts on. And this has me mentally um, screwed up. I'm not depressed, but only because I'm going on this great trip up to the shore. I don't know why I said shore, we don't call it shore here, we call it the beach. And I've been avoiding the whole subject because I'm embarrassed and I feel bad about myself. My back hurts, I feel flabby, I feel like I don't look so swell, and all of those things are true. But I'm putting it out there because I know there has to be somebody who's feeling the same way I am right now. And I don't want you to feel alone because it happens. We're human and it happens and in this uncertain time of quarantine and everything I, and the, 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 the even weirder part is it's not like I went balls out and was eating everything I haven't I've tracked everything um, it's a combination of things it's a combination of oh here's Steve with our lunch I forgot to tell you no lunch no there's, there's they do uh, all the online uh, orders first and there's like seven people waiting and their sandwiches aren't even made yet, and there's seven people ahead of me just trying to order. Oh, he no. He's, he's not going to order, take orders until the online sandwiches are done. All right. Well, I guess we're not having Jersey Mike's. So let's go to Cole's first. Oh, we need to eat because we're already both, like, cranky. Right. Then, then we'll be back. Then let's go we got to make else. a plan. Okay. New plan. We are in line for the habit now. We really both wanted to Jersey Mike's. But it wasn't meant to be. So anyways, going back to my story, I, I don't like the way I feel, I'm embarrassed, all of that stuff, but it happened, it happens, and I have to let it go, and I have to go and enjoy my fantastic vacation that I'm, we are going to be vlogging for them, right babe? Yes. Yes. He's putting on his hand sanitizer. Woo! Um, but if there's anybody out there, I always say that, out there. Is there anybody out there? Just not if you can hear me. Is there anyone home feeling like I am? Would you put it in the comments below and let's talk about it a little bit? And I hope for anybody who's been hanging out with me for any amount of time, I, I really would hope that you're not like judging or disappointed in me because I'm disappointed in myself enough as it is. It's, it's a crummy feeling super crummy so we're gonna order now and then we'll show you what we get so here we are sitting in the parking lot staring at the macaroni grill we eat our habit burgers char burger char burger i get cheese he does not i've already tracked it from 14 smart points i'm going to show you guys everything i eat um go up go throughout our day and then uh, we'll talk at the very end about what we need to talk about. Just a little more, but I think you guys get the idea. Right? Mm hmm Mmm. Mm. And I have my water. I need to add something right now while I'm thinking about it. I know this video is all over the place, but I have to tell you guys thoughts while I'm having them. 
If you have gained some of your weight back and you have a spouse that gives you a hard time for it, mentions it, just talks about it in any way, shape, or form, you don't have to put up with that. Um, this guy here has never, ever, ever so much as uttered a word. In fact, I was embarrassed to tell him that we need to run by and get me a pair of shorts for our vacation. And he, he, he didn't so much as bat an eye. It's what I need to do and he loves me and he's respectful to my whole situation. And he knows it's not easy. He sees me, he buys my food. So if you have a spouse or someone that you live with that, that speaks in a negative manner about it and you're struggling with it, don't allow it. Shut them down. Because it's your problem, not theirs. Right? Right. I guess he just really doesn't care. Mm. <laughs> I want you to wear something that fits you. You can't walk around in your underwear. Oh, I just made you out to be such a nice guy and then you said that. Mm -hmm. You gotta have something to wear. What if I want to walk around in my underwear? The thing is, is you could have given me a hard time and said, how did you let this happen? We don't have money to spend every time you gain too much and you go back and forth and back and forth, which I have to say I haven't. This is the first time in my three years on Weight Watchers that I've gotten up too much to where I have to buy another pair of shorts. This has not ever happened before. So I've got that going for me. Yep. Don't take any abusive talk from anybody. Mm -hmm. It happens. What? This, you know, circumstances has, have arrived. Has... What, quarantine and stuff? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I just don't want them to see me chewing while I say thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so here's the long and short of it. Is this Weight Watcher's fault? No, it's my fault. I've been doing this program long enough to know what works and long enough to know what doesn't work. And I let the quarantine give me an excuse to eat and mostly drink things that I knew would put weight on. And I would say to myself every night or day, Nita, when the quarantine ends, it's time to get back on the horse. Let's get this weight off. And um, I hit a decade that frankly has me so alarmed that anybody who's done weight loss and has gained some of their weight back, I don't even need to tell you, right? You get the pit in your stomach. You're like, ugh. But we're gonna turn this around. I've taken it off before. I've kept it off before. I just have to commit to doing that again. And come Thursday when we get home from our trip, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. There's not gonna be any more sitting on the patio with an alcohol beverage because I can, because I don't have to drive anywhere. I don't have to be responsible for Oliver because he's not here. Uh, I'm not gonna slip a couple of chips into my mouth when I'm making Steve's lunch. Everything that I knew worked and did work and that I ran a good program on, I was sliding. And I slid right into a spot that I don't wanna be. So Thursday, I'm on here to tell you guys so you can hold me accountable. And again, if anybody's in the same situation, here, I'm gonna scoot over and you can sit right here next to me because it happens. And I need to remind myself of that. I'm not the first person it's happened to. I won't be the last person it's happened to. And it may happen to me again sometime in this lifetime. But I don't feel good. And let me tell you something. That burger I ate for lunch, it, it sat horribly. We had to run into Kohl's and leave because I was so uncomfortable. My back hurts. I'm going to get back to that chick that the original 35 knew when I first came on. And I pledged allegiance to the YouTube. 
and that be that. So stick around and watch us vlog on our beautiful trip because where we're going is so beautiful and our room is so beautiful and we're beautiful and you're beautiful and everybody's beautiful. And I've come to terms with what's happened, happened and uh, I'm gonna turn it around. And only I can do it. Steve can't do it for me. Oliver can't do it for me. You guys can't do it for me. You can support me, you can help me. You can lend a kind word now and then. You can give a soft admonishment now and again, but it's all up to me. And I'm going to embrace my program back and get to where I need to be. If, if you see people at your meetings, on YouTube, anywhere, at Facebook, and they're just the perfect little white watchers, there's no such thing. I think I have claimed to be the perfect weight watcher before, because there was a time where I was, but apparently I was incorrect, right? Because if I was the perfect weight watcher, I wouldn't be in this position right now. It's not easy, guys. So, all right, love you. Drink your water, I'm gonna drink mine. We're gonna go, we're gonna have a swell time, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do this. What say you? See you soon. <laughs>